Good afternoon, it might be December, but it's sunny here in Swanwick. Uh, I'm Stephen from Bates Wharf Marine Sales, and we're the UK dealership for Fairlight Yachts. And we'd love to show you around our stock Squadron 68. So this is our boat, um, really high specification. We've got a big, big platform on the back of the boat that will take out the Williams 345 mini jet. Some nice features, a lovely fold up seat. We have the shower here that pops up. Um, this particular boat um, is actually a three cabin um, with a day head, um, but she has got the fourth cabin, which is the crew cabin, which we've had made up. So, entry into your crew cabin, just through the steps here. And that's a two bath crew cab. So, you get the top bunk and a below bottom bunk. She's got a nice little ensuite in there as well. So. Nice comfortable little cabin for your crew, should you need them, or an additional guest bedroom. A crew cabin, easy shuts down through the steps, you'll notice that all the steps on the boat are illuminated. You get a little hatch here, um, air vent for the crew cabin, but it is full air con. To say this boat has got a full specification. Um, as we walk up the stairs, you see she's got the nice touch from Fairline, the, the lit doors, companionway doors. Um, we have the mooring pack on this boat, which is the uh, capstans for your Meduse. And then we've got this really nice, sociable, well laid out um, exterior lower saloon. Big table, nice big U-shaped seat, plenty of storage under either end. We've got the doors either end here. And then we have a dedicated life raft storage under this middle cushion. Really nice sort of alfresco feel about this boat. We have the two uh, bar stools here because as you can see we've got our window folded in the up position which gives this really big uh, fold out option. We've gone for the bifold doors on the boat which again just open the boat up that bit more and give you more of that sort of indoor outdoor feel. We're then straight into our well placed galley, really well laid out galley as well. Use a nice kit on the boat. We've got the melee combination oven, full burner melee hob. Um, all the crockery that you see on the boat and the cutlery is all standard. Some nice little features up the top here. A little dedicated coffee station. So you put your little coffee machine on here and have your coffee cups at the top. Really nice feature on the boat, um, which we love, um, are these fridge stroke freezer drawers. So you can basically set them as a fridge or a freezer. There's four of these that pull out, nice and deep. Two here, two under the work surface here. Plenty of room. Um, again, more storage all the way around the galley. And overhead storage here as well. Some nice use of space. We've got some hinged lockers for sort of your bottles and bits and bobs. So on the back of the boat here, we've got this really nice big dining table, um, which folds away. A bit more ease of use during the day. We've gone for the high gloss walnut option on the boat, but we've also gone for an awful lot of different fabrics. Now Fairline have introduced this sort of fluted woodwork here, which if we open up, really nice lit glass stroke drinks cabinet. So we've got champagne flute storage at the top here, all your tumblers, your bottle storage at the bottom. As I say, we've really sort of mixed it up um, with the materials that we've spec this boat with. So we've got the, the acoustic oak flooring here in the high wear area around the galley as we come through the boat. Um, again, mixture of fabrics and textures. We've got a practical leather finish around the galley area. As we come forward, we've gone for this sort of really nice textured ruffled sofa um, with a carpet. And again, nice lot of woodwork, nice table here, which again folds in. A clever feature on this boat. She will fold down to coffee table. So you get two nice seating areas on the boat. Blinds, of course, are standard all the way around.
One thing we really notice is the sofas, we've got this real nice angled cutaway edge, so a really comfy sofa. You can angle your feet, angle your legs there nice and comfortably. We have big uh, 40 inch TV pops out the side here. These are really nice. Our aircon vents um, built into the boat, you've not got a big meshed area. Um, again, further storage under the helm seat here. Little sort of double companion sort of seat area here, USB chargers everywhere. And then we've got this really, really nice helm station, lower helm. So two individual seats that you can slide backwards and forwards. Again, storage underneath. Um, we've opted on the boat with a twin cat C18s. Um, and we've gone for the full spec on the, on the helm. So we've got the three 12 inch Garmin units. And then we've got our sort of other Garmin display here, which is basically the the, the, the full control center for the boat. Um, bow and stand thruster, um, which are the, the proportional. Um, just a really, really nice driving position. We've gone for the side door on the boat, which was an option as well. But you've got really good use of space here. You can actually see all the way through the boat. And from the helm, I can see through the companion way. I can just about see the edge of the platform. But of course, you've got the, uh, the camera, um, so that we can sort of uh, get a full picture of when we're coming in out of the bath. It's actually a very easy boat to drive this. Um, it doesn't move around a lot in the marina with the windage um, and, it, and it sets itself up really nice at sea. So we've just come through the accommodation. Again, sort of new for 2022. This is the, the Project Evoke boat. Um, so rather than just having lots and lots of woodwork, again, mixture of fabrics and textures. We've got this sort of lovely panelling here but still capped off with a high gloss walnut. As I say, we brought this in as a three cabin boat and um, with a day head. So we've got a nice big usable day head here for all your guests, which has got lots and lots of storage um, in that bulk bulkhead wall as well. Plenty of room there. And then coming forward uh, through the boat, we've got this lovely, really nicely appointed VIP cabin. So if I step back, see some nice, Nice room, lots and lots of head height in the boat, lots of volume in the boat. Big hanging locker here, nice light fabrics all the way around. Big TV on the on the wall here, and of course you've got your, your private ensuite. And as we walk back through, we've got technically our number three cabin. Again, all the doorways have got this nice infill panel. Some nice features in the boat. We have the sliding beds. So you've got your two singles, push them together to make your double. We've got the TV up on the bulkhead, another big hanging locker here. And then of course, um, we just swap over. I'll let you in and you can have a look. Again, this has its own head, so you get private private head uh, for the third cabin. As I say, that says this this boat has the the three cabin options. We get a little bit more space, a little bit more room, and we'll walk back into our owner's cabin. As we come down the stairs, a couple of little points. We've got our full distribution panel here, all nicely labelled, all nice and easy to get at. And then on this particular boat, we put the washer dryer. Um, you can change that and have another fridge there, um, should you require as well. And then we walk into this big, big full beam owner's cabin. Again, loads of height, really nice features, rather than just lights in headlinings. Fairline have made, made a pattern of this, made a feature of it. We'll put these nice dimmable lights up here. Again, lots of different fabrics used here. Um, lots of different textures, the fluted wood there. Nice big dressing table. You can have cabinetry both sides of the boat. We've gone for some drawer storage uh, on the far side there um, with a sofa. And um, as I say, you can have cabinetry both sides. And then you've got this lovely dressing area here. And of course, these big, big side, side windows. So lots of natural light here. Nice, nice place to be um, when you're on up the yacht. Again, lots and lots of storage. So we have a big hanging locker that comes around the corner. And again, as standard, you see all these towels on board, all the, 
the towels and the bedding is all standard with the boat. Um, touch the bulkhead here. Again, lovely lit hanging locker. And we've got a safe down here on this boat. As I say, we have ticked all the options on this one. And then again, I'll just swap places with you. And you can have a look through into that big head compartment. So nice, big and usable behind the bulkhead. Shower with a view. Plenty of sort of space there, plenty of sort of surface area there. Nice big usable head compartment, big rain shower over the top um, and the seat in there as well. So lots and lots of room. So we'll walk back through the boat. Um, I think we'll probably go up onto our foredeck first and then we'll do our flybridge. From owner's cabin, up a few steps. As I say, we've put the, the side door on the boat, so we may as well go out and show you what that's all about. Nice big open side door. And we've gone for the full uh, teak from the platform flybridge all the way around the side decks. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm walking backwards nicely. We've always had a nice big wide side deck on the boat. Feet side to side, you're not going toe over toe. Nice and easy. It's a flat deck all it's the bow here. We've got this big integrated sort of sun pad area. Nice big entry in. Back west, of course, folds down flat to give you a sun pad. We've got a high low table in the front. This all covers over. sociable area um, you can have the um, up and over sky deck uh, canvas for the bow here but we'll walk back down through the side deck um, and we'll go through the boat uh, and up onto flybridge so again we've got the, the full lighting package you can see As you, as you can stand here and you can look through the boat, it's a nice big beanie boat, lots and lots of space. Good flow of air through the boat, lots of room, everything on one level as you come through. Nice seating area, really nice transition as you go from, from exterior to interior. Again, a big set of stairs. We always have a staircase on a fair line, we don't have a ladder. So we've got these nice big uh, teak steps, all with a blue uh, mood lighting fitted in. So huge, huge big flybridge. Fairline have always had a big flybridge on each of their flybridge models. So you've got this big, big table here with pop-up lights. Up front, we've got the same sort of helm layout, same sort of kit on the helm. Again, these two really nice Fairline seats here that, that are in-house design. These are both uh, individual seats so that from a comfort point of view, you can adjust. Um, see we've got the camera shown on this so you can see the stand of the boat but you have actually got good vision all the way around this boat a couple of options here again another big u-shape um, seating area with the table obviously we've gone for the hard top on the boat so we've got the hard top with the opening and um, soft mesh interior so you can open her up and we've also put the bimini uh, on the back of this boat as well so we've got the fold out bimini top which operates Just, which operates just from the back of the, uh, the wet bar here. The top comes right the way out over your wet bar, so you get some protection in your wet bar. We've got a nice big fridge, and on the top we've got a griddle, hidden storage, and then under here we have, of course big fridge and then we've got our ice maker on the side. Now it looks quite a big sparse area up here at the moment and that's because we've got some lovely fabric sofas um, which are modular so you can have them set up as an L this way and then you can spin them round so that this is then one big u-shaped seat on the back of the boat. 
But as they are so nice and fabric, it's marine grade exterior fabric. But in the winter in the UK, obviously we get a bit of harsh weather. So we've taken those in and put them in the store. And from an owner's point of view, they are easy to, to get off and remove or, or to move downstairs. Again, just walking back through the Mr. Locker as we came up the stair. So as an option, you can have a pop-up TV, can be retrofitted on this boat. But then you've also got separate storage here for all your exterior cups, crockery, plates. And again, a nice big storage locker here for all your plates and all your glasses, all your melamine kit, so that you don't have to bring the same kit from up and down the boat. But again, big, big area up the top here, lots and lots of room. This lovely um, silver text material, the edema with the graphite, just breaking it up. Um, we've gone for a full white uh, hull on this boat. The anthracite um, runs through the boat in different areas that, that sort of set it apart and break the boat up. But yeah, she's a, she's a really lovely, lovely boat. So that's our stock um, Squadron 68. Um, she is here in Swanwick, Southampton, available for viewing. Um, lovely boat, as I say, big spec, ready to go. So if you'd like any further information, please uh, email us at Southampton at Bateswharf.co.uk and we'll be happy to answer any, any questions or take any inquiries. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.